Ebola is gone for good, right? Wrong. Do you guys remember Ebola? You know, that tropical virus that swept through West Africa a year and a half ago? Highly contagious, causes organ failure, killed about 11,000 people? Yeah, that Ebola. Fact, 30 people a week are still getting infected in some parts of West Africa. That's a serious outbreak in its own right. Want more proof that Ebola is still alive and kicking? Just look at Liberia. That country was supposed to be a model for how to eradicate the virus. The World Health Organization declared Liberia Ebola-free back in May. 48 days later, a 17-year-old boy came down with Ebola. He spread it to two more people before dying, and those two people came into contact with 150 more people before being hospitalized. Remember, this is all part of the worst Ebola outbreak in history. 11,000 people, and counting, have lost their lives. So what's it gonna take to beat this thing for good? You might have heard about a new vaccine that's been shown to neutralize the virus, but here's the catch. So far, it's only been shown to work on monkeys. So even if it does help humans, by the time they've done enough clinical trials to prove it and started mass producing the stuff, it may be too late for hundreds more victims. I spent three weeks in Sierra Leone back in February, and it was pretty incredible to see how everyone's daily lives and interactions were shaped by the threat of Ebola. No one shook hands. Playing sports was discouraged. People washed their hands with chlorine water every time they entered a public building. So yeah, constant vigilance from the folks in the Ebola zone is definitely a must. But here's the thing, if we focus too much on individual behavior, we might lose sight of the big picture problems that enabled this outbreak to get so bad in the first place. Ebola absolutely devastated healthcare systems in the countries it touched. Just look at Liberia. That country lost 10% of its doctors and 8% of its nurses and midwives to Ebola. Overall, healthcare workers in the Ebola zone were 70 to 100 times more likely than civilians to die of Ebola. And don't forget, these countries' healthcare systems were already some of the most fragile and under-resourced in the world. Liberia, a country of around 4.3 million people, had only 50 trained doctors before Ebola hit. In order to get their health services up to par with the standards set by the Millennium Development Goals, the countries affected by Ebola will need an additional 43,000 doctors. For reference, there are about twice as many doctors in New York City alone. So, if we're serious about ending Ebola in West Africa and making sure an epidemic this bad never happens again, that's the gap we've got to close. Ebola is just the symptom. Systemic health inequality is the real disease that needs curing. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Global Citizen on YouTube for more videos like this.